I don't know what to write. I am very good at writing emails. Can you tell? Title HBD. What is a HBD? What do we have here? Dear Colette, <laughs> how are you? Question mark. There we go. <laughs> how are you? Why are you typing with one finger? This is not very efficient. You would not survive in the corporate world. <laughs>
Yes, very good. An email to you. Mm hmm. Space. And wish you happy birthday. Something's weird here. Wish you a happy birthday. You see how that gives you a suggestion? So it corrects your grammar for you or improves it? Very cool, very useful. What else do you want to say? Mm, I'm not really sure. You're not really sure? Well, don't worry, I can help you. So, she's been in Switzerland for quite a while now, right? Yeah? And you haven't seen her in how long? A few months. Okay, why don't you update her with something that's happened in the past few months that she's been gone? Or a funny story? Okay. So guys, if you're watching and you're like Reese, who's having a bit of trouble crafting out an email to a friend that he hasn't seen in a while, some fun things to talk about would be how they are, how you are, maybe share a story about something interesting that happened recently. Hmm. I know, I can say that just now, I had an interesting talent show. You were in the talent show! I say that like I wasn't in the same talent show. <laughs> oh yeah! The talent show! I know, that recently, I was in a talent show. You mean we were in a talent yeah. show? <laughs> we can definitely write that in. That is a great idea talking about something interesting that happened to you recently or something that you're proud of as well. Okay, let's write that down. Recently, oh, great. I have been in a talent show. All right, so you have been is present tense, right? So you were in is past tense, right? Because it's not happening right now. I was in yes, a talent fabulous. show. Yes, fabulous. Recently, I was, participating. I, was, ooh, I was participating in a talent show. Okay, that's great. In a talent show. Okay, now don't forget everyone, if you're recounting a story that happened in the past, you have to use the right verbs and the right tenses. So instead of saying, I was participating, which is past and present, you could say, I participated in a talent show. With a friend? Do you want to include me in the story or not? With a friend. With a friend! I'm a, I'm a friend, I made it. Recently, I participated in a talent show with a friend. Now, did you have fun? Do you want to talk about what happened during the show? I had a lot of fun. Fantastic. I had a lot of fun. Anything else you want to add? Did you learn a lot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and learned a lot. That is a great sentence. Now, how do you think Colette's doing in Switzerland? Do you think she's doing new things like this as well? Do you want to know? Uh, so, how is it like in Switzerland? Oh, that's a great question! So after you share something about yourself, it's always great to ask a question to the other person. So that way it doesn't feel like you're just talking at them, but they actually want to hear from you as well. So that is a great suggestion. Could you repeat what you said? How is it like in Switzerland? Hmm. How is it like in Switzerland? What do you want to know? Mm. Have you done anything fun? Yeah, good question. Have you done anything fun? Or maybe interesting. Oh, interesting. That's a much better word. It's more creative use of the word instead of fun, right? Oh, interesting. Okay. Have you done anything interesting? Like what? Do you wish you could celebrate with her on her birthday? Yes, it would be very interesting. It would be interesting. Maybe you could say that. She no. would feel really happy that you wanted to spend time with her. So you could say, I wish I could be there to celebrate with you on your big day. How else would you say it? How would you say it the Reese way? Because that can give you a guideline, but at the end of the day, everyone has their own very specific tone that they use to say things. I wish I could celebrate your birthday with you. Fabulous! That is awesome. I wish I could. Celebrate your birthday with you. Celebrate your birthday with you. That is an awesome email, Reese. It is kind, it is informative, it is polite, and it makes the other person feel valued as a friend. Do you want to add anything on or are you okay with signing it off there? Mm, I could sign it off. You could sign it off. All right, why don't you do it yourself? How would you say? Warm regards. Sincerely yours. But those are very formal. How would you sign it off as a friend? You could say, See? You learned the trick! Good for you! See you soon, comma. That is awesome! Full name. 
Love it. That is great. All right, Reese, I think you crafted a great letter. Are you ready to send it? Yep. Click the send button. There we go, everyone. We made it. We made it in the end. Good for you. <laughs> send her in the Stop letter. catching my fist bomb! <laughs> So Reese absolutely destroyed this challenge. He was awesome at writing emails, but now we're gonna up the stakes just a bit more. So Reese, have you ever written a handwritten card? Not really. Not really? Well, if you didn't know, sending emails is very fast, it's very efficient, but it's not very personal. So if you wanna really, you know, send something that will make someone feel valued or very special, you could send a card because then they can keep it forever. Right? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Well, guess whose birthday is coming up in two days? Yes. Mine! I know. And I would love it if you wrote me a card for my birthday. What do you say? Okay. Okay! All right, let's do it. And here we have my birthday card. Oh. Oh. Yes? It's a good card. So pick a pen. I know you want blue. You want blue, right? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so remember what I taught you. You know, when you write a card, you have to address it to the person. So which in case it's me, Maddie, how do we do that? What would you say? Happy birthday, Maddie. Okay, great. Good, off to a good start. Yes, write that down. Happy birthday, Maddie. You have very neat handwriting. I write faster than I type. You do write faster than you type. All right. Okay. Is that a full? Comma, very good. Okay, now, are we gonna continue along or are we gonna hop on to the next paragraph? Hop on to the next paragraph. Fabulous. Now, what do you wanna say? Hmm. Happy birthday, Maddie. So earlier on, he was actually teaching me math. So maybe you can hope that my math skills improve hmm. by the end of the year. Happy birthday, Maddie. Hope that you improve <laughs> on your he took it to heart. I was hoping he would be like, no, Maddie, your, your math is so good. No, hope that you improve on your math soon. It's the thought that counts. What else do you wish for me? Mm. Give me some good blessings and wishes. Is that a typo I see? Oh, there we go. Yes, good. You saw that immediately. Don't forget to proofread yourself. So when you finish a sentence, back, look at it. Maybe you've made a typo or typing error, writing error, and you can correct that really easily. Reese, this is, <laughs> this is the saddest birthday note I have ever received. <laughs> Wait till I tell you what it says. <laughs> Happy birthday, Maddie. Hope that you can improve on your math soon. Maybe I can give you more math questions. <laughs> One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> Is there anything else you wish for me? Or you want to say, do you hope that I have a great <laughs> week, maybe? Do you, do you know how old I'm turning? No. I'm turning 26. Okay. Okay, so... If you say you are old, <laughs> I will throw you out of this window. <laughs> you can calculate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, there are a couple of ways to write a letter. You could go with the very <laughs> sentimental route, which is, you know, I hope, you know, you stay young, stay beautiful, stay happy. My thoughts are with you. I hope to celebrate with you soon. Or you could go the really funny way. Either way, I would keep this note forever. And I would always look at it if I'm feeling down and I want to remember a friend. You can. <laughs> It's a drawing for you. You can draw on the card. That's the that's the beauty of a card as compared to an email. You can't draw on an email, but you can draw on a card. And it's hand drawn. It says you can calculate without a calculator. I can. Yes, I can. Now sign off. If not, I don't know who the card's from. It's my time. That's your signature? Yeah. And how am I supposed to know that that's your if you don't write your name? Are you gonna, remember when we did the sign off with Colette? You were like, see you soon. What about this one? You're gonna, your friend or your math tutor. Best wishes. Bye bye. That works. That's nice. Bye bye from Reese. I love it. This is such a funny letter. I have never received such a fun wait, letter wait, before. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yes, you have to put it in the envelope because how else am I supposed to receive it? 
even though I'm right beside you. No, no, I want it. I want the proper thing. I, I want you to mail it even for me. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So do you know how to close it? It's not gonna stick if you do that. You see how like how it's lick sticking it. here? Yeah, you lick it. It's like a, an old school envelope. Um, it's gonna come off. You gotta do the whole thing. Uh -uh. And you see how it sticks? Amazing. All right, now, on the front of an envelope, how am I supposed to know who it's from? So write, to, from. To, very good, from. To, Maddie, from. Very good, from Reese. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, and are we just gonna throw it in the bin? I don't <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, very sweet birthday card. I will cherish this forever. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. We hope you had fun joining us in crafting an email as well as writing a letter. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And in the meantime, Ruiz, did you have a good time as well? Yeah. Yeah, you did? All right, this mom. Oh, I guess I'll be doing that. But anyway, guys, don't forget to create, celebrate, and be great. great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye. No. <laughs> no. I've been trying to take the perfect selfie and it's not working. Hey. Ah. Downward angle. That's not a good look. Did you know that on most phones, you can actually take a photo by clicking the side button, so the volume button. Did you know that? No, that's no. a surprise. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, that's good.